And welcome to this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Hanley. She's Lauren Barnes. And we're going to play some checkers. Lauren, when's the last time you played checkers? Oh gosh, I don't even remember. It's probably my grandma's basement like eight Thanksgivings ago, honestly. <laughs> so it's been a while, so I yes. have a chance. Three. Let's go, baby. Got it. Come on. Man. So, favorite memory at the field house? Oh, probably our last my last win there. I think we swept Minnesota to go to the final four, not I think. I know. <laughs> we swept them to go to the final four. Um, but yeah, it's gotta be the best one. So speaking of Minnesota, mm -hmm. you started your career there and then transferred to Wisconsin. Why Minnesota in the first place? Mm -hmm. And then why, what appealed you about Wisconsin? Yeah, um, so Minnesota was, was actually one of the um, only big schools that really kind of was kind of interested in me um, being recruited. Um, I was not a very big recruit, um, so just, and I knew, but I knew growing up, I really wanted to play in the Big Ten. Um, and I really wanted to see what the highest level, try to play at the highest level possible. Um, so that kind of caught my attention right away. And then just on top of that, I met with, the co I got to meet with the coaches, met the players, all that good stuff. Um, and when I, got there it was kind of just a no-brainer um, they have a great school I majored in business they have a great business school um, gosh it's really hard to play and think <laughs> at the same time <laughs> um, great business school so kind of just everything coaches girls and then the business school um, decided to transfer after my sophomore year and it was kind of just there's a shift in culture as I was there um, and I was just looking for is it my turn yeah got it more a more kind of competitive atmosphere and um, that's what actually brought me to Wisconsin is then the same thing. I went on a, on a visit there, got to meet the players, got to meet the coaches, um, and it was just, again, a no-brainer. And then the Wisconsin Business School, it's hard, hard to say no to that. Um, so I came here for that as well. And, yeah. <laughs> three, Big Tens, three Big Ten titles and a national championship later, right? Yes. Yes, I will say I did win one at Minnesota too, but yep. that ring is usually <laughs> kind of hidden. <laughs> so, okay, so you got, what, five rings? Yeah, I think so. So, do you ever take them out and like, where, like, where that's, are that's they? A, that's like the favorite question. They're really just in my ring box. Okay. <laughs> I have a ring box sitting on, on my dresser um, in my room, and that, that's about it. They just sit there. <laughs> um, so... Kelly Sheffield, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, great coach, great mentor, would you say? What sure. maybe is the biggest piece of advice or, you know, his coachisms that you mm -hmm. are using, you know, off the volleyball court yeah, now? Yeah, for sure. His, the biggest thing is definitely just, oh my goodness, yeah. definitely just the, <laughs> um, the confidence he's taught us to have as women. Um, and that kind of started from the day I, I walked, anyone walks in the door, I walked in the door, it's things as simple as like, we're in a team meeting and if you don't speak loud enough, he makes you start over. Um, we would read through our team rules and things like that and he would have us all read through them kind of together. If you trailed off at the end, you started the whole thing over. Um, if you slouch your shoulders while you're walking, it kind of makes you turn around, get out of the room, walk back. Um, that's really the biggest thing I've taken um, as I've as I've gone and he really just uh, really encourages us, especially as, like I said, as women to just own the room and don't shy away from anything, Yeah, um, which is awesome. Favorite teammate? Oh gosh, that's too hard. I'm gonna default, I'm gonna go roommates. Okay. So I'm gonna go three. Okay. Um, I guess the most recent team I'll go three, but I lived with uh, Izzy Ashburn, Sydney Hilly, and Dana Recky, so nice. I'll throw them out there. Yeah. Um, but I'm just gonna go roommates. I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. What was the What was the moment? Take me back to 2021 mm -hmm. when you know 
that final point goes up or goes down and <laughs> you're national champs. Like, mm -hmm. What was that moment like? <laughs> That's probably the hardest thing to describe. Um, almost, I don't know. It's just it's it was just unreal. It's like wow we did it and yeah. like we kind of had to win twice yeah i don't know if you yeah. remember yep. but point, so we won the yeah. we, we got the point well we thought we got the point challenge got reversed and then it was like okay well now we really yeah we really have to to get the point it was just kind of like well we did it no challenges <laughs> like wow there's no way to challenge it it's just like everything we worked for was just in front of us and it was just kind of like we did it right so and no better way to go out right yeah, like right that's that's I mean, it i think so So, when you're on campus, mm -hmm. you're not you're not playing volleyball. You're not on the court. You know, whatever. No practice. No film. No whatever. What were you doing? How did you spend your free time? Um. Well. Besides school. Yeah, course. I was gonna say well studying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but usually kind of just hanging out with te the team, my teammates, hanging yeah. out with my friends. Um, like I said, I room got to room with like th uh, with three of my teammates. Um, so whenever chance we got, we were all in our living area. We usually put a show on in the background, but we're kind of just hanging out, talking, doing whatever. Um, but that's kind of the biggest thing. Always trying to convince someone to get ice cream. It's my favorite thing to do. Go get ice cream, even in the winter months. <laughs> Where? What? What's your? Story? We always went to Dairy Queen. Okay. <laughs> but we okay. also liked. Um, we loved when it was summer to go to the terrace and grab yeah. ice cream there. Okay. But Fav winter months, we always just went to Dairy Queen. Favorite kind of ice cream? Did we do cookies them, and like cream? Blizzards for me. at Blizzards DQ. Blizzards at DQ. But if I'm just getting like a scoop of ice cream, okay. it's always cookies and cream with whipped cream on top. What about like <laughs> dilly bars? You like dilly bars? Yeah, but it's not always a Blizzard, okay. not as much. Right. But um, my turn again. Yeah. I mean, it's been what eight years since you played, so you're a little rusty. I, I think I, I played like two weeks ago, so <laughs> it's all fresh. I mean, the rules are what I'm trying to think through right now. I don't want to do that either. So Kelly Sheffield, mm -hmm. when we see him, he's kind of very straight, laced, has kind of a dry sense of humor, <laughs> I think. But like, you just don't really know if he's joking with you or not until it's like, like five minutes later, like, yeah, he's joking with you. What, <laughs> what is he like, you know, with, with his athletes? Oh, very similar. There are actually times where the same thing you're like is he joking and sometimes he, it's he's serious but you let out a laugh and the whole gym is silent you're like oh i'm just gonna slink back to the back of the room for a little bit um but very similar um i don't know he he's a good all-around good guy he really cares about his players i've kind of emphasized that a bit um but then also he knows when to joke around he knows when to keep things um serious and I feel like the best part about him is he knows when to joke around when things are serious and when to lighten the mood when things are serious like that um, but very similar I will say sometimes you're like is he joking can I laugh at that and sometimes he'll look at you like that was a joke you're supposed to laugh <laughs> so similar but good guy all around all right Lauren I have a king you have a king let's just call it a draw you good with that I'm good with it all right more fun and games next week Stay tuned.